Welcome to today's 3D print. Time for the invasion of the Christmas trees. Stay tuned. I've been printing a lot of Christmas trees. I found this print on Thingiverse. Um, people have been posting on Twitter, I've been posting mine to Twitter, and they have been coming out stunning. I mean, really stunning. I've been printing like one a day. <laughs> I just like, oh, I have to try this filament. Oh, I have to try this filament. Oh, I have to try this filament. And they are just, wow. This print is cool. It is worth printing. So what got it started was I had some Zyro twinkling in the printer and I said, let's print the tree. And the result was so amazing. It got me going crazy trying to figure out how many different filaments I could print it out of. It looks like ice, like sparkling ice glass. It's really, truly stunning how pretty these are. I really badly want to make this into a rocket. <laughs> oh, I want to make this fly. If at all possible, I'm going to make this fly. So, what other colors did I print? Well, I tried white, and it's okay. This is printed on the A5 using the total pack filament. And it's just a standard tree, no big deal, nothing special. But even this looks halfway decent. Just the, the facets, the way they catch and reflect the light is just very cool. But we not done there. So of course I did, I tried an Ultra PLA. It worked, very brittle of course, but it looks pretty. In fact, I think this was my first. I could just look at that all day. It's so pretty. But this is what got me thinking rocket. As you can see, very brittle. It's coming apart already. But um, if I put a paper cone in here to protect the plastic from the exhaust plume and put the engine three quarters of the way up inside of here, that might actually be stable as it sits. Although, can't launch it like that because that is actually sharp. <laughs> that would hurt if it came down on top of your head. So then I did a red one. This is Zyro Twinkling Bright Red, which I'm hoping they're going to restock soon because when do you see this? This stuff is truly astonishing. I'm going to try to get a little more light from a different angle for you guys. Oh, that does help a little bit. I want you guys to really see how these things sparkle. It really is pretty amazing how they sparkle in the light. Oh yeah. This is one of my favorites. So then I did Zyro Transparent Red. Oh, not red, purple. <clears throat> and this came out. I think to save on filament, I'm gonna start doing them without a bottom. Just make them hollow instead of printing a bottom because it'll significantly reduce time. It takes like two hours just to print the bottom. Because one consequence of these things, I had like four failures printing the really pretty one over here that I'm going to show you last. Um, you got to print slow. I got lucky the first few I printed, it printed fine. But as soon as I tried to print slightly faster, it would break down here. It wouldn't, it wouldn't connect properly. So you got to print these things slow. This takes 12 hours, 9 minutes. But I believe I can get that down to 10 if I drop the bottom. Then... I had this new plastic from Atomic Filaments, iridescent. It's a pearl iridescent. It's a little hard to see in video and pictures. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it has like a purple pink iridescence to it. Very, very pretty plastic. Part of the fun of 3D printing to me is finding cool plastics to try and make some nice prints out of. Then, of course, Standard green. This is Maker Geek's Crystal PLA Green. I also have yellow and red I'm going to try. I got to do the bath, make sure I have enough to do the pyramid. If I do, I'm going to do one of these in the red and the green and the yellow as well. Very pretty. So, what about an opaque plastic? This is going to blow you away. I did this one smaller because I didn't want to waste it because I only have a 750 gram spool of this. But this is going to blow your mind. You 
the light on this so you can see it. Look at this thing. <laughs> it looks like it's like it's electric, like it's moving. It's incredible. This plastic is so beautiful. This is Polyalchemy Nightshade. That really dark purple that Polyalchemy makes. As with, sadly, most Ultra PLAs, it breaks very easily. You can see I was beginning to have a failure here before I realized I'm going too fast. I slowed down, it printed perfectly. So you just gotta slow down and print. I think it took four hours. This plastic is stunning. I, I wish I could make rockets out of this. I can't. It's too brittle. Well, the plastic is very strong. It's the layer bonding that's poor. It does not stick to itself very well. So it peels apart. See? Just like that. I just broke it. See? It just comes right apart. It has very poor layer bonding. Um, now, I might be able to make a nose cone out of this and then seal the inside of the nose cone with epoxy to give it strength that it doesn't have itself. But that would be a one-off because there'd be a lot of labor involved in doing that. Even the inside is incredible. Oh yeah. <laughs> I really like this plastic. Um, as another sample of the polyalchemy, I did a simple vase in the night sky. It's a really beautiful, what I would call a really sapphire blue. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. I love fun filaments. Oh, well, there you go. Christmas trees. I'll have a link down below. Oh, I might as well. No, I'll save that for the next video because I've got another Christmas print over here. But I also have some snowflakes coming up next. You guys have a great night.